Compositing is part of the large stage of a movie's VFX production, and compositors take all the assets needed for the shot, such as live action footage, matte paintings, and 3D renders, and combine them to produce one image that can be as realistic as possible. Depending on the complexity of the shot, the process of compositing is often done with rotoscoping, color correction, and color grading, which are three very important steps in the VFX workflow. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the best compositing software in the VFX industry that you need to know about. Part of the creative process is actually being able to sort of experiment with a lot of stuff that just doesn't work to find the one that really sings, and that's what Nuke does for us. Being able to build a whole atmosphere in Nuke with layers of actual volumetric elements that are thrown in there and deep and layered all the way back just brings this this reality, this edge, this life to it that you don't get otherwise. First of all, we gotta talk about Nuke, which is the industry standard for everything related to compositing, including rotoscoping, color correction, and color grading. It is the most popular compositing software in the VFX industry, no matter what the size of the project is. It has all the necessary tools within its node-based workflow that covers everything compositing artists need. It is a complex software that can be a little bit challenging to learn, but very important and offers a lot of customization and flexibility. If we had to cite examples of the major studios currently using Nuke, it would be Weta Digital on Avatar or Sony Pictures Imageworks on Alice in Wonderland, and these are two perfect showcases of the great capabilities of the software. It also has been used in the making of the 2018 Best Visual Effects Oscar winner Blade Runner 2049 and nominees such as Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Kong The Skull Island, and Jurassic World, just to name a few. If you are a VFX artist or an inspiring one who needs assets for your next shots, Action VFX might be the solution for you. It is used by a lot of big budget VFX studios, and some of its elements have been used in big budget movies such as Jumanji, in addition to Avengers Endgame. Action VFX is a website that provides a huge library of high quality, well curated stock of VFX elements for a very affordable price. They have an extensive list of all VFX elements, such as muzzle flashes, explosions, dust, sci fi elements, particles, lens flares, blood, you name it and they have a lot of things you will need for your next VFX production. In addition to that, the website offers a very affordable subscription plan where you can get access to the whole library for only $14 each month. Furthermore, there is a ton of free stuff that you can download for free. And by the way, most of the elements are 60 FPS 4K resolution. If you are interested in Action VFX, you will find the necessary links in the description. For tracking, video editing, compositing, rotoscoping, or color grading, DaVinci Resolve remains one of the go-to software in the movie industry. Fusion doesn't only do a great job when it comes to compositing with its node-based workflow, but also rotoscoping is made easier with the auto-tracking feature that combines the tracking algorithm with the rotoscoped alpha map of the rotoscoping process. The Fusion compositor has been used as the main compositing software on a lot of major Hollywood blockbuster feature films such as Deadpool and the Hunger Games franchise, in addition to the Oscar-nominated films such as Gravity, Skyfall, and The Social Network. Adobe After Effects is also one of the well-known tools used for compositing and rotoscoping. It gives you a bunch of robust editing and compositing tools, which are also intuitive. In addition to that, the software has hundreds of free learning resources and video tutorials that are available and accessible by anyone who has the will to learn more and who is willing to put in the work. But the downside is that it hardly handles large-scale projects due to lacking native OpenEXR support and a full 3D environment. This is important because professional compositors really need this. But After Effects is very popular in the VFX industry and widely used in the indie movie industry by small and mid-sized studios on their projects. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.